Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. In the previous episode, we took a lot of territory. As you can see on the top left here, the northwest, we took everything. And that's good. We will have some kickback, I'm sure, with this, some of them rebelling and forming new empires. But overall, good progress. Good money, good progress. And in terms of research, we've got Empire of Science. 215 generic units of currency on the research there. I'm going to put that down to subsidies because there's nothing really in here I need at the moment and I want to save up money for building the next vessel which is going to be a um a gatling ship essentially if we go to our design ship we what we want to do is we want to be able to take out the the bees and one of our main downsides is that um we haven't really got an escort for the york so we have the coventries which are great for bombarding uh, enemy uh, structures and not too bad against some airships but they're not great the Dresden is obviously a high-level bomber, which we haven't used in quite a while because we just haven't really had call to build another one. The York is a carrier, which has lots of aerial hazards as well as triplanes, but a lot of those triplanes and aerial hazards are getting taken out by our own rockets because of the explosion. So what we want to do is we want to have essentially a smaller vessel that is really there to protect it so i guess like you would with a normal carry you would have to protect that carry that would be in the center of your fleet and then you would have basically destroyers around it to protect against um, incursion so what we'll do is we'll design it around saw blades no we won't we'll design it around uh, the uh, the gatling gun there you go now what i want to probably do is have a couple there i want to have a couple there and then a couple there and that's going to be the front of it and this isn't going to be something that again is really meant for doing the main assault this will be about doing whatever it's going to do but it's not going to be there to take out the opposing forces on its own that's not its point the point is to take out things that come towards um the flies that we have so what i'll do is i'm going to have it um uh, that's 2000 meters service ceiling uh <laughs> hang on 1255 meters service ceiling large spendium chambers have got a lot better these days haven't they <laughs> okay what we'll do is we'll have a fire point in around here so we'll go over to resources and fire points reason is under resource because it's water obviously we will have our we need walkways to go up and around here and i don't know what the best way of doing that is yet anyway we'll have a coal storage there we will have lift and if i mean if we have that look at that it's 711 um and we're going to armor it up with steel wall yeah, we just don't need that. It's just too big for the size of vessel we're making. So we'll get rid of that. And we'll have that down there. 361, that's fine, considering we get the rest in. If we get 200, that's that's uh, that's fine. That's more than enough, actually, 200. Um, actually, there's better, because then we can just go straight up. The question, though, is... What sort of engine? That would make it really quick. That would make it very quick indeed. Which I'm all for. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, command and crew. Quarters. One, two. Um, berth there and there. Just so we can get up and down to these. Which we now can. Actually, I'll remove... No, I can't remove that one. I will remove that and put a bridge in, which, again, doesn't have access up the top. Do you want to just do that? I'll go for the angled thing again. No, I do prefer it. A bit more shape. I like the sort of hammerhead look that it's got going on. Okay. We could put a berth there and a berth there. Well, that still has access anyway, so we can have our cockpit. No, do we want a cockpit? Yes, we do actually want to. We want to. We want a bridge rather than a cockpit. Uh, telescope will go there. 
we'll have a corridor with ladder there. As always, we'll have a crow's nest. Uh, right, not all mutually accessible, the top bit here, and more supply hatches required. I'm going to have troops, guard barracks, there, and supply hatches. Actually, one, two, three, remove those. And then we have a guard barracks. Guard post, rather. So the only way into it is at the bottom. Okay. Crew 33 recommended 22. Might have all done that then. Uh, get rid of crew quarters. Uh, crew 21 recommended crew 20. If we overcrew it, it's fairly stupid. Double guard barracks, though. This serves a few purposes, then. Not only can it take on the clockwork wasps because it just miniguns them out the sky. If they ever get on board, well, what have you got? <laughs> Two sets of guard barracks and a guard post. Although I don't think we have the crew to support that, though, do we? <laughs> uh, crew 20, recommend uh, recommended 20, uh, 20. No, 21 crew and recommended crew 20. Do we need more crew? We do get more crew. That goes to 24. Let's have that. 24 crew. Okay, so it's currently 184 meter service ceiling. If it goes over, goes over, goes under 150, might have a problem, but we'll see. Um, actually, I'd probably get rid of that and put that in there. That Yeah, that cheapens out a bit. Right, so we'll go over to shapes, and as before, we are going to use just all of the angles. So we'll have a slope um, of uh, four, I think, if we've got four to there. Yeah. Uh, actually, we'll put it to there. Then we'll slope it to there. I want the same going up. And fill a block. And we can't do anything else because the rest is required. And we can't put that there because that's the chimney. Okay. It's a weird looking thing, isn't it? What does that remind me of? Hmm. I'm sure I've seen a, a vessel with that profile before. But anyway, coat of arms. Mm. No, that just looks far too... Far too bad. <laughs> um, I do like the weapons like that, though. Right. It is a... It's just like a mini sub, isn't it? Really, it's just like a mini sub. <laughs> Interesting. Um, anyway, so we'll have that in terms of our armor. Um, or rather, a uh, decoration, rather. I don't know. That would fit in there quite nicely, but I don't like it there. And a nameplate. So. We need a name for it. Call it the Sterling. Save the design. We can't build it yet. Don't have enough money. But we are getting... 412 generic units of currency every tick, so we'll wait a little bit. 
Today's beverage is actually it's a meal re replacement shake thing. It's like a protein shake with vitamins and minerals and uh, strawberry flavor. It's everything the body needs. It's not everything the body needs. Who would have thought we got a uh, Matrix quote in this episode? Anyway, uh, what do we need? Aerial torpedoes? No, it's not about need. It's about want. Um, flamethrowers and then aerial torpedoes. Although I could go for flat cannon. No, aerial torpedoes. Because I want to put aerial torpedoes. I want to retrofit the the York. So we go for... Oh, we've lost this area. Right, we're going to have to go and deal with that. Um, we'll deal with that right now, in fact. But I want to retrofit the York. So I'd probably say uh, refit it. And we refit it with... We don't have suspendium cannon. Which I don't know if you've seen before. Uh, a precise arrangement of suspendium crystals fires small suspendium bolts with extreme speed and accuracy. Essentially, it's a rail gun. So, maximum accurate range, 11,000 meters. <laughs> so, it just goes, blam, and something over there dies. And that's what I was going to refit this thing with. The... That's pro that, in fact, that is, that is what I'm going to refit it with. I was going to try and... Say, well, actually, no, uh, we're not going to do that because blah, 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 aerial torpedoes. But aerial torpedoes have the same problem that, that uh, they have the same problem that the rockets do. And they're explosives and they'll take out our own things here. So what I'll do, I'll leave without saving. And the reason I want to do that is I want to go to design ship, open the design of the... I'm going to do one the death rattle. Uh, that could get moved to the legacy folder at some point. Uh, I want to get the York. I'm going to rip off these guns at the front. There we are. And then we want to have a suspendium cannon, which sadly doesn't have any, uh, any walkways in it. So we'd have to remove that. And I want to do that, move it back over so it's more flush with it. And the problem with that is... Actually, what I could do... I could then put... The fire point there. Ah, damn it. Slightly reduced structure integrity. Typical. Just a tiny bit. What if we redesign this bit then? Make it a true version 2. And get rid of those. Move that down to there. Get rid of all of this. Get rid of all of that. And that. And... Large suspendium chamber. Yeah, that's that's a possibility. That is a possibility. It's not as fast anymore. I'm not entirely bothered about that though. Hmm. Let's just try and... Damn it. Can I put this at the front? No, I can't. It's a shame. Hmm. Shift those around. Alright, like more expensive, about the same speed, I think, 115. Service ceiling of 114 meters. Call is probably probably adequate. Unit of call every 10 seconds. We got how many call? 60 call. I 
don't know. We might have, we might we might have a call issue there. We might end up running out of call. Um, we've got enough crew. Also, not enough crew to do that though, which is an interesting one. Why has got no crew? Oh, it's because it's positioning them in the other places. Right. Um, do we have enough? Coal. Oh, we got no fire point round here. No, we can't have that. We can't be having that. I'll put the telescope at the front. That'll allow me to get rid of that and move that to there. Move that up a little bit. Bridge can go up by one. We'll then put in a fire point in there actually no remove those put that there and then next to it two fire uh, two coal damn it slight reduced structural I'm not mad I'm just disappointed uh yeah we can't do that anywhere hmm you know what we could do as well Get rid of all that. Oh, good grief, actually. No, have you seen that? It massively reduces the service ceiling. Uh, actually, that's what we'll do. We'll test it. Uh, 43 meters this thing can go without those. So, oh, we, have, we actually have pressurized suspendium dust tanks now. <laughs> Look at the service ceiling you get off them. They're really, really good until they get shot at. One could argue that's the same for this thing. But, and how do we have the back set up? Uh, I can't remember now. Anyway. So, we've got that in there. Is there anywhere we can, f anywhere we can fit? This, like, move things around. See, that doesn't have access up there. It's trying to make it so it has access to, um, like, a ladder up here. Actually, you know what I could do? I've just realised. That. Because that has walkways. Now that I mentioned, I think that's been... Now that, now that I say it, I think that's been mentioned in the comments before. Move everything back all by one, if we need to. And more coal. We can then shift this down over. And... That's more centralised. But the coal needs to be further up the top, I think. Think. No, I don't mind that. It, it doesn't matter about how long it takes really to take coal up and around because they always preemptively do that. The thing, the speedy thing, is the reaction for fire. So quickly get water to an area. So slightly reduce structural integrity. Quite frankly, I. Not really too bothered. I think I'll, I think I'll live with that. So, and we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see. We might have to redesign it. This is, this is definitely a version two now. So, that's fine. So, we'll put all of the shapes on it. So, we'll remove some of the ones that we don't need. And do you want to put that there and then have a four going up i think i do so shapes and decoration we'll scroll right down to that bit and put that on the back there we will have a little one by one curve oh slope rather on there and then we'll have another four by four four by one there we will make sure it's steel wall that's wrong steel wall we will paint it and then
All this can be red. Like that. And had that, didn't we? And then we'll paint it around. There is a way there. If you go to paint, then click on decoration, you still have your paint tool, you see? So then you can paint around. <laughs> Just for reference. Um do you want to do that? No, don't like it. Oh, that's okay, because like, we've got the stripes going on again. No. Hang on. We're getting something there. Oh yeah, cool. Uh, that has to go red again. And there we go. So there's the New York. <laughs> Didn't even mean to make that reference. Uh, I'm so alone. Right, so York version 2, save. Not going to build it though. That would be that would be lunacy. What we are going to build is uh, what's that? oh that's a large shipyard, so that's fine. We will build ourselves um, build Sterling only the one of sadly, and uh, we're just going to take this over. Move them down. We're going to be fighting Flak. So the last thing I want is to get shot over the sky. So I'm going to move them like that. Hopefully they'll get there. They should be able to board. Um, move that down here. Board that one. That's now done, so we'll just back it up. Oh, we'll actually crash into the other vessel. I mean, that's fine as well. Board that one. They are, they are. They have been told to board this one at the back, and actually, most of them are landing. If I put them on the ground, which historically was a big mistake because they would jump on the ground and then get stuck, but it looks like they are actually happily moving. So that's good. We're going to max speed this fight out actually because I want to. So I'll skip ahead to capturing it and hopefully taking the uh, that back over. Yeah, we'll go for a gentle take over there um, and we'll move them back to that one as well. So we will repair, repair, and there we are. Stone Guardians there as well. We're going to have to deal with that at some point. So there's brigands are now hiding out there. We're building the Sterling here. We're going to build... Do we have a lot of only a medium? We're gonna build another sterling. And what we'll do is we'll meet up we'll we'll group the sterlings with the York. Which was not the case. There you go. I always get the wrong way around, because it's what you select is what's not going to move. <laughs> so we're not gonna put the Coventry um in with the charges. We want those as fast reacting vessels, so I'll move the Coventry up to... Actually, I'll move it back over to there, just out of the way for now. And once we finish with these the Sterlings, we'll have like one York, which actually, you know what we should do? Ideally, we should really refit it. Um, so, we want to refit it, open design, the York version 2, refit that, it's not going to take too long by the look of it, which is good. We have the Sterlings meet up here. So I don't want any of these to move. So the Sterlings are quite quick, which is good. Don't want any of those to move either. That one, move to there. So now we've got one refitted York and two Sterlings. 
I don't know if it's going to be enough, but we'll, 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 we'll have a go, why not? So, Clockwork Wasps. There you go. Going to move this right back. As you can see, higher service ceiling now. We're going to move these um, like that, and hopefully... So you can see the range of them. I'm just going to be in range of that thing, but obviously their main task is to shoot any of the bees that come out. It's not working. <laughs> it's not working. Back up. Oh, don't say they can't take out bees. Yeah, they can take out bees. Uh, the, the wasps. Look at that. They are shooting them now. Oh, but they've got a very, very short range. It's working. It's working exactly as intended. This is a new feeling. <laughs> right, so we're going to move. Oh, that's a new thing as well. They've now moved that further down. So it looks like the Sterlings have done their job perfectly well. They've taken out all, as far as I can tell, of the wasps. So we're going to move the Sterlings further forward. Use the Gatling guns to shoot against this hive, which is currently getting shot by loads of aerial hazards and the triplanes. We also have our suspendium cannons. You see that? Doom. And that will probably do a lot of damage. I'm actually going to move it further up. Okay, I think that's... I think we're fa I'm fairly confident that's getting taken out. Just want to watch these fire. I love the noise. I mean, it sounds like... I think the Foley was someone dropping a pan. <laughs> Just dropping a pan lid. Dung! <laughs> that's what it sounds a bit like. <laughs> Just altered somewhat. Hey... Don't don't knock it. That's what a lot of these things are. <laughs> You'll be surprised just what noises you think are one thing and are something else. But uh, yeah, I think we're we're bullying that fairly well. <laughs> Look at the state of that. We're chewing through ammo. We are chewing through ammo. And there it goes. <laughs> Victory, aerial torpedoes. We gain. Right. Good. That's that's a new thing. Um, should we attack the Stone Guardian? Ah, go on. Why not? What have we got to lose? Well, these... Oh, there's the Stone Guardian. So it fires a death ray, right? This is going to be... Bad. Uh, let's move that down there. Move that to there. And then this one... I don't know. Actually, it might walk through me. I'm going to put that there and then that one behind it because it'll probably fall out of the sky. Um, yeah, it fires a death ray, I believe. But uh, start the fight. There's the death ray. Yeah. Causing a lot of damage. Nice particle effects. All kinds of purple. Here's our reinforcements in plain form, which are getting shot off the... Off the Stone Guardian. I wouldn't have expected that to prioritise those, but I'm I'm more than happy because these miniguns are are mincing through him. I wonder if I put them on rapid fire, because they're currently on normal fire. Yeah, that um that was destroyed. So we got them all. Well done, lads. Hip hip hooray. Excellent. I like the New York class. The new it's not a new New York class. You get the idea. Uh, and I guess we'll attack this uh this city on the way, um, which has got flak. So we're going to put these down here. Move these to here. And start the fight. Not going to go overly well for us because they have, after all, got flak and rockets. And we are going to have to... Well, we're going to lose a lot of our... Our planes and such because as soon as they fly over the flak... They're going to get shot. They've also got rifles on the front as well. So there's... There's all four of those gone. However, honestly... Um, more minigun, more better. And I've also put it onto... Rapid Fire as well, which is... Chowing through the ammo. But does it look like we care? <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. And a victory. Vic and Terry. Uh, gentle takeover, why not? Doesn't really matter. And we don't even really need to move these in. Ooh. 
Flame throws is now complete. Um, we'll go with aerial torpedoes. Actually, it says I already have aerial torpedoes, so let me check something. Uh, also, uh, Ursoville and Onderon have joined in an alliance. There you go. They've joined up. The last remaining one. I've got 25 grand. This isn't going to take long. Um, but, let's just check something. Design ship. Weapons. Aerial torpedoes, yes. So there's actually no reason, well, very little reason, rather, to go through aerial torpedoes. The reason why you'd want to go through that is because you get mech spiders for some reason on the other end of it, and also you can get the torpedo damage and stuff there. So that's why you would go for that one. Um, I'm going to go for Imperial Cannon, which gives us medium steel armor, and then heavy cannon, then heavy turrets, and go that way for getting heavy turrets. Um, yeah, I think so. Our main... Obviously, this is these are our enemy, but quite frankly, good luck. Um, although, as I said before, you never know what's going to happen. We've got brigands to defeat. We've got uh, giant spiders, uh, giant bees, and other assortments that could pop up. But what we'll do is either use what we've got or design for the purpose of just taking those out. I think we'll probably just build loads of yorks. And just swamp them and get it over with. And then obviously we'll see what happens after that. But that's a future as problem. Current us is focusing on um, taking over this. Building up the defences there. And then seeing what happens in the next couple of episodes. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. I'm Generic Partings. I'm trouble centering that, aren't I? There we go. There we go. Got there in the end.